The formation is trimmed to level and the geomembrane placed into position beneath the proposed line of permachannel. A concrete bedding is placed directly on top of the geomembrane. One metre long permachannel units are set to line and level on the concrete bed. The ends of each permachannel come together to form circular outlets. The bedding is scraped away at the position of each outlet before the concrete begins to harden. Connection units are fitted at one metre centres where the concrete bed has been removed. Each unit is designed to insert neatly into the formed circular outlet from the permachannel. A concrete haunch is placed at the back of the permachannel and a curb may be placed as shown for perimeter applications. Alternatively, the permachannel is capable of collecting rainwater runoff from both sides if placed in the center of hard standings. Green permafilter biomats are laid against the installed connection units and joined using white permatize to the black permavoid attenuation units. The concrete haunch is completed using the permafilter biomats as permanent formwork. The completed permavoid installation is encapsulated with geomembrane and an initial layer of subbase, graded to required levels, is applied prior to laying traditional surfacing layers. Cover plates are inserted over the channel ends to divert the runoff into the main permachannel treatment chambers. The ductile iron gratings are fixed to complete the system. Once correctly installed, the channel receives a D400 loading classification. The completed installation is located immediately beneath the traditional car park surfacing layers. The high strength and performance of the permavoid units allow the entire drainage system to be placed above the formation level replacing expensive imported aggregates. The permavoid system is also suitable beneath areas trafficked by heavy goods vehicles. How does the permachannel work? Consider the typical drip 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 of oil from the sump of stationary vehicles. When it rains, the surface water runoff carries the accumulated oil and silts towards the permachannel grating. As the runoff enters the permachannel, the flow is immediately slowed down and a baffle traps floating oils within the treatment chamber, whilst silts are deposited and retained at the base of the chamber. Clear runoff water is allowed to navigate beneath the baffle, over the weir and out of the circular outlet. Once through the permachannel, the treated runoff flows into the green permafilter biomat units. These units are similar in structure to standard permavoid units, but with the inclusion of an oil trapping floating mat. In the unlikely event of oils passing through the perma channel, the permafilter biomat provides a further level of treatment by trapping any residual oils on the floating mat. As the mat floats, it's in the ideal position to trap floating oils and allow clean water to pass by, even during storm events. By looking deeply into the structure of the geotextile down to a microscopic scale, it is evident that not only does the floating mat effectively trap oil particles, it also provides a self-maintaining ecosystem with bacteria digesting the trapped hydrocarbons and protozoa regulating the bacteria. The air layer above the biomat encourages microbes to form a biofilm on top of the biomat that uses the trapped hydrocarbons as a sole nutrient source, thereby removing the pollutants through biodegradation. The self-regulating nature of the ecosystem ensures the permafilter biomat effectively removes residual oils through the entire design life of the installation without the need for maintenance. <laughs>